Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Thursday, December 18th, 2014, and we're going to take a look at some things about the Mayan calendar and about how many people are saying that this date, that some have even predicted that it was is supposed to happen here in 2014. Now, I do not predict dates on my channel. We research things in a spiritual way. We go right by the Bible. My channel has been investigating these things for several years with evidence from all around the world as a case, as a team of detectives. Just as back here during the 2012, December 21st, I actually showed on this calendar that there is no date actually on it. That it, we don't know the date. But you can see here, this is the actual Mayan calendar known as the Tortuguero Monument 6 tablet that actually had the December 21st, 2012 date on it right here. This is called the Aztec Sunstone. It exactly matches this calendar. It, it's, they're both exact. But neither one actually shows a date. The main thing that they do show, and with by doing the hoax of December 21st, 2012, is nobody looks at this really anymore. This maps out the end of days exactly by the Bible. All of the earth is made by God. All of the universe, everything that was made was made by Him. All of these actually map out the end of days exactly by the Bible itself. You can even see right here is actually one of my videos from way back before the 2012 incident. There's me right there. I have everything pointed out on there. And we've broken down hieroglyphs from all around the world and everywhere. showing We even show how the end of days begins, but we don't know a date. This is the Mayan tablet Tortuguero 6 that right here, the calendar that they said had a December 21st date on it. It does not have a date right here. But what it does show is the solar system. You can see right here, Jesus taking us through the solar system here. And right up here you can see this clownish figure. He represents the Red Bull and the Taurus constellation. And him trying to not let anybody get through and get by him into heaven. Exactly by scripture. The Taurus constellation represents the law and the box of the Ark of the Covenant. And then Jesus Christ sits way above it. On the mercy seat of Christ. See there, the red bull looking at the solar system? And then right here, he's kind of freaking out. He sees Jesus coming through. This matches the end of days perfectly by the Bible. This bull coming, see here? He's called the little horn of the Bible. And he lands right here on this foot, just like him being kicked out. See him being kicked out? And he gets this sword. It's the red horse of the apocalypse, the red bull. They start World War III. Way up here you can see the dog star Sirius. And this phoenix rising, this represents the end of days when Jesus calls the souls to him. See the phoenix rising? And down here is the wheel of the great tribulation. And you can see Rome getting a grievous head wound. See how this snake is coming? That's what's coming. Down here is the stone. This is the Revelation 18 millstone that is coming. That is exactly in Revelation 18, 21 for the 21st date. Now we don't know about dates. It's saying we don't know and my channel is shown like there's an escalation every month around the 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of every month. And then there seems to be a reset on the pressure. You can see the pressure building now around the world. I mean, events and chaos are spreading around the world. But see right there, 21. Perfect. This matches the Revelation 18 millstone coming, right there. You see what this looks like a telephone? This is Jesus Christ right here as the lion. And he's taking the woman all packaged up right here like the grapes and passing them over and translating them out. See here? This represents one foot of God and Christ and this represents the other foot up in the heavenly realms. See right here this ark? This is the Ark of Jesus Testament. When this bull rises, the red bull and the little horn of the Bible, the millstone comes, we go from this side over here to the heavenly realms. 
See, we're basically in like this fish tank and that cat can't get us. See the cat outside looking at us? And there's this big chef. He showing the P represents the Pallades constellation, the seven stars, the seven angels, the seven churches, the seven golden lampstands Jesus holds in his right hand. See how he's like a chef? And he's putting this person with a crown on their hat right into the fishbowl into heaven, and the cat can't eat us. When the phoenix rises right up here. It even shows the RFID chip coming. Right here you can see this cat. It represents Obama, the leopard of the Bible, and the Revelation 13 beast. Right here. And it says RFID upside down, right there. They're doing the mark of the beast. Right here. R-F-I-D. It's an electronic chip for the mark of the beast coming. It's going perfectly by scripture. Everything is going by scripture in here. <laughs> I mean, one of their characters from the Mayan lands named Zyptotec, he's actually shown as, let's show this, this guy Zyptotec in the Mayan lands is the same as Satan. He's known as the Flayed One and the Skeleton Man. He's also known as a Skinwalker. In the Hopi legends, he's known as the Red Kachina. Jesus' side is known as the Blue Kachina. The side of the blue is the side of Jacob and Israel. In the book of Numbers, God said, put a quart of blue into all of Israel. The Zyptotec side represents Cain and Esau, and the red side, the butchers, the flayed one. He's even shown right here, like Hellraiser. He comes through the box, Pandora's box, and he represents pain coming. That's what he's shown as right there all the time. This guy here, pain, is what's coming from the box, the red kachina. This hangs in the Denver International Airport. The Freemasons are all prepared. These ten horns represent ten nations that will betray the USA with the secret USA government. They're setting it all up. You can see here the leopard represents Obama. He will fall. Miss Obama right here in the time of the blue is over. And now the red rises. See the blue Kachina doll? And now the red Kachina comes. The woman is caught away with the wings of an eagle right here. And then the red Kachina comes. This is the next mural in the Denver International Airport. Here's the door for the side of Jacob and the wise virgins that are caught away. Here's the guillotines, and he's the red kachina, the flayer, the flayed one, the flayer of men. See the body parts? The butcher. He's the one beneath the pyramid, beneath the bottomless pit, inside the cube. See the cube? See right here? See this perfect cube? He is inside the Kaaba and the Islam cube. This is the one that they call Allah that has no son and cannot beget a son. Jehovah has a son and can beget a son and his son is Jesus Christ who was risen from the dead. See the cube? He's coming with the time of Islam. It's just terrible. And see how he's riding the red bull? Perfect. The little horn of the Bible coming. See the little horn of the Bible coming? This is him right here. Fallen is this stone, the great millstone cast into the sea. Let's go to this glyph of Akhenaten. This is in Egypt. It shows the same things. Here he comes. See Pinhead, the clown, coming with the key to open the abyss? He's going to go through Obama, betray the USA, and he represents the stone, the great millstone in the Bible, right there. See the Red Bull off and running? World War III happening? There's the phoenix rising again. There's the false prophet who has frogs come out of his mouth to deceive the world. There's the idol that they will all be made to worship, like this crystal head right here. And then they can see, be seen doing the check, the check mark right on a person's head right there. So that's a lot of ground to cover, but let's finish it. Right here is the Vatican. And you can see in here that they have the key to open the abyss. See the key right there? This is a puzzle. How do you get this key into this lock? You have to break it. When the Vatican is actually struck by nukes and the USA is betrayed, they already have the Russian Orthodox Church ready to rise up. So you, when this happens, they can put the key into the lock and start the Great Tribulation. Here's Obama falling as the cat, just as we just showed, right there. Now the Satan figure goes, see him going through Obama, 
And then he ends up with Russia as the bear also. Ten nations with Russia, China, North Korea, Prince William, all of them. You can see Satan falling right there. And he ends up inside of this Pope figure, whoever he is going to be. See the Pope figure? And then the Russian bear will carry them. Perfect. All by scripture. This all has to happen for scripture to be fulfilled. There it is. This cat falling is the same as this. It's the same as this, when the stone falls. See here? And then the little horn of the Bible rises, and he gets this great sword. Like Excalibur. The first horseman gets a bow, and he's the conqueror. These two ride together, just like the Lone Ranger and Tonto, literally. And then you can see down here, the second sea of war, this guy rides the red horse, and he takes peace from the earth, and he can actually cause people to kill one another. And he gets a great sword. He gets Excalibur, literally. Exactly like in the Lone Ranger. He rode the white horse, and the Indian rode a paint horse, but it represents the red. The Indians represent the time of the red through there. That, that's what that means. So we don't know about times or dates, but let's keep watch. May God have mercy on us all. Here's the original Mayan tablet, 6. There, right there, is where the date was they talked of. And you can actually see Jesus Christ getting us past the bull. See that clown right there? Here he is, right on the Illuminati box cover. He looks like a bull with his hair out to the sides, coming for the fifth age, the age of judgment, bankrupting the USA. And he brings the idol worship. See the cube? All right there, right in front of us. See the clown coming down with the V? Perfect. That's him right there. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. So you can see him right there. See there? The red bull. Representing the law also. The wages of sin or death. The little horn of the Bible coming. The Antichrist figure. Thank you very much everybody. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah.